this video was um, this video was shot on top of a hotel in uh, opposite King's Cross Station. I always thought it'd be a bit more glamorous when we got there, making videos, you know. Not like nowadays, Dizzy Rascal and all that, we got a Barbados and stuff. What was I dressed like there? I looked like fucking Columbo. I don't know what that's about. I had a good laugh doing this video. There's a signed Manchester City football. Worth virtually nothing. Yeah, matey boy soon gave up singing the, uh, the falsetto bit after that. I think he thought it was a bit gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay, obviously. Lost. I'd <laughs> it's funny. I'd kind of grown. I'd, I'd I'd grown out of the video experience quite quickly. By the third one, it was just like this is a load of bollocks. Standing around all day doing the same old shit, five hundred times. That'd be weird. But um, it seems like this guy was just making it. Up as he was fucking going along, because I th this bit where they were gonna, he was saying um, we should bury the drum kit, and I was saying why don't we bury the drummer, and he was like yeah yeah we'll fucking bury the drummer. And I was like wow, is that how easy this is? He's just fucking randomly suggest nonsense, and people's going to film it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. There's a lot of Adidas going on in here. Was there really all these birds in this video? It's like a fucking scene from Britain's Next Top Model. You won't get away with that now. The missus won't let you do a video like that now, would she? It'd be fucking uproar. What do you mean there was fucking 60 pissed up birds in the toilet? Well, hang on a minute, what's all that about? <laughs> I never got off with that girl there, by the way. There's no chance of that. See how fit she was? No, oh, see. All for, the, all for the video, I'm afraid. No, I was fucking drunk in this video. Look how pissed I am there. That's me really pissed. And uh, I remember sitting down in the middle of the street, I think it might have been on Edgware Road somewhere. I'm falling asleep at a bus stop. And then and then going, that, they're the clothes I went out in the night, the night before. I remember Liam being furious that day because I think it's the one, the one time I've been more drunk than he has. Do you never get involved with the other ideas? No, I, I, really, I fucking hate videos. I hate everything about them. I hate the fact that they cost a fortune. I hate the fact that you've got to be there at eight in the morning. I hate the fact that you don't leave until eight the fucking next morning. I don't like the fact that the people who are making them think they're fucking making apocalypse now. And everything is the most important. This is the really important shot. And this bit, we're going to... It's fucking bollocks. It's nonsense. And even then it was all right, because there's like the chart show and all that. Do you know what I mean? Who fucking watches videos these days? No one. A right fucking con, if you ask me. We never really... Fucking that like, probably the last time I ever ate my... I was... I can't begin to tell you how pissed I was. I was shit-faced. That song's a bit of a throwaway for me. Although we did play it on our last tour and people did go fucking apeshit for it. It is a bit... It is, it is a good song to jump up and down to, drunk. Let's have it right. See that guy on the end, on the far left? That's a guy called Scott McLeod, because Gwigs, bless him, had uh, developed lazyitis, uh, masquerading as uh, nervous exhaustion. Whatever that means, maybe he's having a nervous breakdown as well. Our tour manager came to the front of the bus one night and said that, that uh, she'd been talking to Scott and he wants to go home. And we were like, what do you mean you want to fucking go home? And he said he was missing his girlfriend. We were on the way to do David Letterman for the first time and uh, he just said, I want to go home, I miss my mates and I miss my girlfriend. And I was like, your girlfriend? Fucking hell, you play your cards right here. You'll have about six girlfriends by the end of this fucking tour, mate. Never mind the one up back home in fucking Oldham. That wasn't an actual record playing, by the way, and he's not a real clown. I mean, I hate videos at the best of times, which we've already spoke about. But actually being in a video where you're the actual fucking supposed to be the front man is just the biggest pain in the fucking arse ever. You know, a guy actually said to me on this video shoot, can we do that bit again, but can you... 
Can you do it with a bit more energy in your eyes? I still have no idea what he meant by that to this day. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know. Do you want me to fucking stare at you like a fucking serial killer? I don't know. Nonsense. And you'd have thought... Fucking brag a shite like that. Waste of a fucking afternoon. Got all those helicopters that cost a fucking fortune. This is fucking nonsense. <laughs> is this real? Is this a real video? <laughs> Size of bone and shirt. It's fucking insane. We look like we're wearing someone else's clothes in all these videos. Is that Phil Mitchell? I, no, it's not. Yeah, I'm not having any of this. Is this leading up to something? Have you seen this video? Uh, it's all backwards. Oh. Right, pity the song is. That might have sounded a bit more interesting. I have to say, with all these videos, if you need four guys to walk around in slow motion, we were the fucking... We, we, we were the best at that. Maybe the motorbikes rush into the radio station to say, Stop! This is shit! <laughs> Fucking hell. Done that a few times. So she's dead. Alright, so there's a death in the video. That's nice. What is the... What? What the... Why did they end up in hospital? And who's is that helmet? Was she on the bike? Hang on a minute. If anybody's listening to this at home, you'd be advised to probably go and fucking mow the garden or something because this goes on for ages and ages <laughs> Pete Dockett you there they are really ill fitting suits as well aren't they fucking hell and I bet they cost a fucking fortune Robbie Williams based his entire fucking career on this song that's what I hate about this is that a man with legs made of sausages? That's not real. Someone's having a fucking la I know for a fact that's got nothing to do with this song. A man with legs made of sausages. Fucking hell. Oh, Lord. Good Lord. Shut up. No, that's horrible. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's not real jumping out of that plane. What about pigs don't fly and never say die? That's surely... Somebody... Why did somebody fucking stop me at that point and say, let's just... He's gone on holiday. Funnily enough, on this video shoot, right, it was shot in the middle of summer. It fucking pissed down for two... It pissed down for two days. It wasn't supposed to piss down. We thought we were going to get electrocuted. Under that thing there that was supposed to look like a spaceship lying bastards there that's supposed to be a spaceship taking off it looks like a lot of scaffolding sinking oh this is fucking this is another can we listen to this with the sound down very uninspired at this point you know i was we shouldn't have really made this album if i'm being if i'm being honest I mean, walking, walking in videos is... F somebody sussed out there, haven't they? At some point, like 10 years into it, all they're prepared to do is walk. They'll walk and play. They, they can walk and play at the same time, but walking and playing is basically what they do, and standing still and looking bored. Thank God that's over. What was the next one off this? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I fucking hate this next tune. I really fucking hate it. <sighs> fucking hell. It just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. Particularly if you think of the late... The stuff that's gone... Before the fuck are these people? That's exactly how I feel, mate. Is he trying to get to the CD player? Oh, 
fucking dreadful. <laughs>